What's going on my family and friends and my peoples? How's everybody doing tonight? I told you I was going to do a pork chop vlog tonight and that's what, exactly what I'm doing. I got four bone-in pork chops that are real thick. You can pretty much see them. They're about a good almost two inch thick pork chops. Uh, two of them are seasoned. They're all seasoned with salt and pepper because those are my two basic seasonings I always put on any meats really. I usually throw salt and pepper. And two of the pork chops, I use the Nashville hot chicken seasoning, which is really good. It's my one of my favorite seasonings we got in the house. And the other two, I just uh, simply put um, a six pepper seasoning on the other two. So right now, all I'm doing is getting this grill ready. It's, it's about 7.30 at night right now. Uh, the fam is getting ready to come home probably the next 20 to 30 minutes from trick-or-treating, taking the kids out. So what I'm gonna do is getting the grill ready, uh, just letting it warm up the temperature to about 300 degrees. It's can't tell right now. Yeah, getting this uh, this grill warmed up to about 300 degrees, and I'm gonna let it see if it holds temperature, and we're gonna throw the chops on there. So. I'll see you guys in a little bit. It won't be a long vlog. I try to keep my food vlogs very short because um because just the time and just the way I got this camera the, the just the way the phone set up. If I had a GoPro, it might be a little bit different, but so yeah, it's kind of nicely. It's right at 200 degrees right now. I gotta get the burners back down a little bit lower anyway. They're kind of like on low to medium, trying to get them on low. Then just kind of regulate the temperature. Then I'll throw the chops on. Eternal temperature of pork chops is not 165. I told y'all that last time, and that was a mistake. It should be around 140 to 145. And we're going to get these chops to about 140 to 145 eternal temperature. And I think the idea for pork chops and steak is, is once you get that first flip, you should kind of just... Keep an eye on the steaks and kind of flip them every so often. Just so you don't run the risk of you know overdoing it on the inside. So once I get this grill up to um temperature, try to get regulated, I'll see you guys back in a little bit. And I have these chops on. Okay, I got the grill set around right around 300 degrees, a little, little over 300. Um what I'm gonna get ready to do is just gonna go ahead and throw these chops on there and it's gonna, gonna hear that little sizzle. Watch how nice it's going to sound. Well, it's not, it didn't sit as hard as I want it to. Get these other ones out. Crap. That's a thick one right there. Now, just a safety measure. If you're doing these on a hot fry, on a hot skillet inside, you had oil on it make sure when you put the pork chop or the steak down make sure you put it away from you and not towards you because when you put it towards you you're going to run the risk of getting oil splashed onto you and you don't want to do that so always put it away i even did it on the i even do that on the grill just kind of i lay it down that way this is the smallest of the four right here uh, I got it in here. I'm gonna go inside and wash this bowl and that's uh the tongs out, bring it back out, and I'll have something clean to put it in here. Let me close this grill. Yeah, it dropped to 200 degrees. I'm gonna let it kind of um climb back up to about three. And I need to go back inside and grab the thermometer anyway, so I catch you guys on the flip side. I think the key to cooking pork chops is once they're on the grill, you want to, you know, get that initial, you know, the, the initial cook on that one side for about maybe, maybe seven minutes or so before you do your first flip. After you do your first flip, then you can kind of watch it from there. Because then it'll start, then I think it starts cooking a little bit quicker, I think. 
So I think it's kind of creeping up over, up to this about 350 degrees right now. Yeah, I've only been gone for about a minute or two, so I guess another maybe five minutes or so, I can go ahead and flip these steaks over. Because if I flip them over now, it's kind of, I don't think it's really done any damage on that on the um, on the bottom side. Yeah, you can kind of see, I can leave it back open a little bit longer. And just flip it in about three or four more minutes. I'll catch you guys in a minute. Hey, just sitting here while I'm waiting for that, um, before I flip that first steak, the first uh, pork chop over. On the, for the first flip, I'm just over here enjoying the fire pit that had running for uh, damn near about an hour and a half, two hours now almost. I think I started this pit around about five o'clock. No, not five o'clock. About quarter, about quarter to six. And it's uh, a little past 7.30 now. I'll probably run this until about eight o'clock, 8.30ish. And I might be done for it. I don't know, it depends on how I feel. Because I'm pretty much enjoying my night right now. Just sitting out here enjoying my night with uh, my tiki torches out here. Even though the weather is starting to change now. It's no longer summertime. No longer that tropical vibes. I still like to keep some type of, you know, tropic, tropical stuff out here. Because I got these little uh, elephant ears right here. That, uh... I think it's, um, that's a banana plant thing right there or something. It's something tropical. I had to take the palms inside because the, it's supposed to be cold for the next several nights down to the low to mid-30s. So I had to take them in. Spot, what are you doing? So I had to take them in. Maybe when the weather gets warmer, breaks a little bit, I might bring them back out. But it's that time of year, right? What can you do? So I think now, since I'm going back over here to the grill, I can probably, good lord, it's almost up 400 degrees, try to give these the first flip. I don't want to get them burnt too bad. Yeah, it's starting to kind of sear on the outside just a little bit. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I mean, they are looking pretty good, though. Thick pork chops. Keep it closed. Yeah, and this, the, the thing is with pork chops, just make sure you kind of keep an eye on them. Uh, a steak, too. I mean, if you want a, unless you want a well-done steak, but if you want, like, a medium, medium well steak, or even a medium rare steak, it's something you have to keep your eye on uh, every few minutes because you don't want to overdo the inside. And... I would cook them at a low heat, not a high heat, uh, a low heat. That way you can, it, it has that time, you know, kind of just get into the middle. Because I think if you cook it on high heat, all it does is sear the outside and the, and the middle doesn't get cooked. But if you cook it on a lower heat, it, um, depending on where you want it, especially if you're a medium well guy like me, or, or at least a medium to a medium well guy like me, um, you want to get it a little bit done on the inside. Because when you got on high, it's always a sear on the outside or burnt and nothing done on the inside. But if that's how you like your steak, go for it. But that's just the way I like to do my uh, meats on, on a lower heat. I just, think get, I just think it gets a better flavor. And especially if you put the right seasonings on there too. So, it's at 350... I'll make sure these things are going down. Yeah. They're thick steaks too, so it'll, it'll be a little bit anyway. So the key is, is to keep an eye on the steaks or the pork chops, whatever you're cooking. Uh, just, keep the flip, just keep the flips going every few minutes. Um, just make sure that eternal temperature is right at 145. That's the safe temperature to eat. Uh, it probably won't hurt to go to 150. I say about 140 to 145 is your safe zone. So I'm going to wrap up this vlog here tonight. I hope you guys have a good and wonderful rest of your evening. Happy Halloween to you guys. And like and subscribe Big Market Adventures. It, likes, it helps the channel out.
and thank you guys for your support. Y'all have a wonderful night, people. Take care.